Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. So this is that 18650 Panasonic cell that I just blew up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, it's still warm, but it's not too hot to touch for a couple seconds. Anyway, I dropped it in some water just to cool it off, and uh, that uh, took a lot of the heat out of it really quick. So what I want to point out here about 18650s is, and this is true for 21700s as well, lithium ion in general, is that yes, they will catch fire, but it takes a pretty significant amount of effort to make that happen. You know, I did it right there in camera where I used this chisel, you know, I put the corner of it in there, dug it in there pretty deep. In fact, you can see the mark on here. Um, I'm about three and a half, four millimeters in from the corner. You know, that's how much I had to penetrate into the cell to finally get it to catch fire. You know, I had two holes poked in the bottom of it. One of them was an accident because I was spot welding and, and uh, uh, did it wrong. <clears throat> and the other one was done with the corner of the chisel. And then I took the, the propane or the butane torch, which is right here, and, you know, applied flame directly to the bottom of the cell. Could not get it to catch fire. It was only until I had this jammed in there, like four millimeters into the bottom of the cell, that it finally caught fire. And, you know, it, it took, I don't know, was that shorting the uh, elements inside the cell together to finally make it catch? But, yeah, it made a nice little fountain. There's no denying that uh, battery fires are pretty bad. But at the same time, battery fires don't happen that often. That was something that I did deliberately, you know, and it took a lot to get the battery to finally catch. I don't know, that says a lot about lithium-ion being pretty damn good stuff.